When it comes to news about archaeological evidence that proves the life of Jesus Christ, information can get overlooked by all the other news and events that are happening in our world today. There are significant discoveries that prove the validity of the Bible, as in one case in particular, the earthquake that was reported during the crucifixion account. Let's read one of the passages in question to start off this analysis. Matthew 27 verse 51 And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain, from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. As according to a 2012 discovery, geologists have found by analyzing rock formations that there was indeed an earthquake that happened in Jerusalem that matches the same time frame of the crucifixion during the first half of the first century. Here are some excerpts from a few articles that reveal this point. Quake reveals day of Jesus' crucifixion, researchers believe by NBC News. Varves, which are annual layers of deposition in the sediments, reveal that at least two major earthquakes affected the core, a widespread earthquake in 31 BC, and a seismic event that happened sometime between the years 26 and 36. Jesus died on Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, claim study that matches crucifixion to earthquake mentioned in the Gospels by Daily Mail. A widespread earthquake is known to have happened in 31 BC, and another one was detected which must have occurred between 26 and 36 AD. Williams told Discovery that the latter earthquake occurred during the years when Pontius Pilate was procurator of Judea and when the earthquake of the Gospel of Matthew is historically constrained. The article then goes on to say, The researchers said that these clues, combined with the Jewish calendar and astronomy clues, indicate that Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, is the best possible match. Jesus' crucifixion date, possibly Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, according to Earthquake Study by Huffington Post. According to Discovery News, geologist Jefferson Williams of Supersonic Geophysical and colleagues Marcus Schwab and A. Kim Brower of the German Research Center for Geosciences analyzed earthquake activity in the area by studying three cores from Ein Gidi Spa Beach. The research confirmed that two major earthquakes hit the area specified, one during the period between 26 BCE and 36 CE, and could be the one referred to in the Gospel of Matthew. It should also be noted that the NOAA National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, a United States government federal agency, shows this earthquake in its database and says that it was at the crucifixion. Almost makes a person wonder if things like the earthquaking as detailed were meant to be discovered, especially as we await the one who had been crucified that faithful day and was resurrected in glory for the world to see return one day. One could look to Luke 19 verse 40, where Jesus rebuked the Pharisees for them getting angry at the people for calling him Lord, where he says, I tell you that, if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. With this discovery in mind, this just demonstrates that even stones give glory to God and give witness to his power.